working, you're going to have to shovel. And then after that, you can keep the shovels in the garage because it's going to be quiet, uh, but a windy week. And there will be a couple of days this coming week that are colder. The coldest air we've seen in a few weeks, but nothing that's still Arctic by any means. Uh, we've seen about uh, nine inches of snow so far in Milwaukee. Now, obviously, some areas have seen more than that, but Milwaukee's running almost a foot below normal for the year. You have some flurries out there that will continue off and on throughout the night tonight and throughout the day tomorrow and occasional light snow shower, which won't amount to very much. So that storm has moved off to the east that brought us two nights of snow. Now we just have the cloud cover and get used to it. It's going to be cloudy once again for tomorrow as well. And you can see on the future forecast, nothing organized, no large scale snow by any means, but just these little blips on the radar of some very light snow or flurries off and on throughout the night and throughout the day tomorrow. Less than a half inch of additional accumulation and with temperatures right around the freezing mark tomorrow again, most of that will freeze. A low tonight of 28, tomorrow's high right around freezing. Uh, we are also enjoying this mild air in the Midwest, but it is getting cold up in Alaska and Canada. And this is the first time the out long range outlook has been below normal for us, I think in almost two months. And it's not gonna be Arctic, but it's going to get colder. Not tonight, though. We're still in the uh, mid to upper 20s. 33 for Sunday with flurries. 31 Monday. There's one of those chilly days. 25 on Tuesday. It'll get back up to 34 on Thursday. And Friday and Saturday look to be chilly with temperatures in the lower 20s. But, Katie, for this time of the year, you could easily have a, a negative sign in front of that. So we'll take it.